email automation with MailChimp and active campaign uh, so I will be showing you how to do this uh, how to do uh, email automation with uh, MailChimp and also with active campaign and also I will be telling you about what it is we are trying to achieve here with this automation uh, what are the pros and cons of using MailChimp and active campaign and uh, you can see I have over 21,000 uh, subscribers in my active campaign uh, dashboard. Okay, so I'll tell you also why I moved from MailChimp to active campaign. Okay, I'll give you the pros and cons and you can decide for yourself which is the best platform for you at this point of time depending on where you are. Okay, so Nella Fernandez from Fitpreneurship out here. Okay, so let us see what we are trying to achieve with uh, with an automation out here. Okay, so what is an automation essentially? Okay, so you have a landing page. Okay, I guess everybody would know what a landing page is. Okay, uh, you have a landing page where you have where you're trying to collect uh, prospects, uh, say the email uh, name and email address. Okay, and then you have a button here telling you uh, telling them to sign up. Okay, so you have prospects coming in, you have people coming in, you have traffic coming into this, okay, people, okay, many people uh, seeing your, your landing page and some of them would subscribe. Now, once they subscribe, they get into your uh, autoresponder, let's call it AR autoresponder, this could be a MailChimp, Active Campaign, Aweber. Um, there are plenty of them. Okay, so today we'll be talking about Active Campaign and Mailchimp. Okay, so so essentially, once they are in your autoresponder, you start sending them emails. Okay, one after the other. Obviously, say the first email you send them off uh, as soon as they uh, subscribe. Then you send them an email after a day. So you you add one day, and then you send them one more. Then you add one more day and send them one more. Now you may be wondering, okay, how am I going to uh, send so many emails? Okay, do not worry, when you're starting off, you can send emails maybe uh, once every two days, once every three days. Okay, so depending on uh, what stage are you at, you can send emails uh, that often and how much time you have, etc. Okay, so now you can automate these emails. Okay, so you uh, you can automate this. So, so you have, firstly, you have an automation series running. So let me see you have an automation series running so let's call this uh, automation series okay auto okay automation series so once this automation series is complete say you have an automation series for say 30 days so after or what, whatever okay do not worry about the timeline just now when you're starting off just think about how you're going to get get the setup okay after that you can put them into a broadcast Okay, so we'll call it a uh, broadcast list where you can where you send them emails when and where uh, uh, you have time in. So if you want to send daily emails from into, onto your broadcast list, you can do that. Okay. Uh, so this is automated. This is what we are going to talk about today. Okay. So once you are in your autoresponder, uh, you, uh, automatically emails will be sent out to them. Okay. Without you doing, you set this up once, and that's all done for you. Okay, so this is what we are trying to achieve today. These this, these automated emails. Okay, so let us have a look. Uh, let's look at Mailchimp first. Okay, so let me move to Mailchimp. Okay, so this is one of my accounts. I am hardly using Mailchimp now. I have moved from Mailchimp. I I will tell you the reasons also. Okay. Okay. Now I am in uh, Mail uh, Mailchimp. Uh, let's uh, create an automation. So I am in automation here. I'll say create. Uh, or let's say, say a classic uh, automation. Now, if you want to create a classic automation, you can create, uh, say, welcome. Okay, so, uh, okay, you do not want to say a single email. You want to send a, an onboarding series. Okay, so we will click on onboarding series. Okay, so we'll click uh, a list. We want to choose. You have to obviously have created a list before that. Okay, and you'll have to have get. Uh, you'll have to be getting people into that list. Okay, so so here this is the first email you can uh, and you can see various emails out here. So now you can start designing these emails. So I'll show you what what all this means. 
Okay, so first, uh, uh, now this is a very small list. Uh, obviously, I'm not using this. Okay, so this is just for test purposes mostly. Okay, so trigger. So what is what is a trigger? Triggers. Uh, when are you going to send the email? So uh, the first email uh, we have decided we're going to send immediately. Okay. Uh, okay. Trigger when subscriber is imported. You can uh, you can click this off also. Okay, and update trigger. Then uh, when are you going to schedule it? Uh, what when are you going to schedule those emails every day, as soon as possible? Whatever you can choose the days. If you do not want to send say on a Sunday, you can un unclick Sunday or whatever. Okay, so that's it. Then uh, filter by segment. If you want to add a segment or tag, say so. You, say you've added a tag, then you can choose a tag, and you can uh, say you want to send someone uh, who's only got into your list for a specific purpose. So you can send uh, an email only to them if you want, and then uh, you can design your email. Okay, if you an action, you can put in an action also uh, if you want. Okay, so subscribe, unsubscribe, subscribe, remove a tag, add a tag. Okay, so now you can design the email. So click on design, and then you can put in what, uh, how you want to structure the email, etc. Okay, so uh, how you want to structure the email, etc. You can put it out here. Okay, so that that's it. And then, uh, so you move on to the next step where you're going to actually. You know, I, I choose a template, etc. You can choose from various templates, okay? Or you, or you can code your own. You can do whatever. Say you want to sell a product, you showcase the product. Okay, you can choose that uh, template. Okay, you can uh, design this email. I'm not going to get into the designing part of it. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. So. Once that is done, you can save and return to workflow. And then you can go on designing the next email. The next email you can probably send after a day or after two days, depends. Okay, you can change the trigger out here and again edit that, etc. etc. Then one day after the, the 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 second email was sent, okay, you can send that. Okay, so all, all this can be done. Okay. Various you can add any extra emails as well. So this is how you do it in uh, Mailchimp. Now I will show you uh, how how you're going to do this automation in Active Campaign, and you'll see why I prefer Active Campaign. Okay, so uh, we are back to Active Campaign. Campaign. This is my email uh, list now, uh, uh, twenty one thousand or so. So let's set up an automation in in Active Campaign. Okay, so let's start creating an automation. Let's create an automation. Let's create it from scratch. Yes, start from scratch, continue. Okay, so you can change the name of this automation. It's named as automation 81 now. Okay, so let's do the same thing. So subscribe to a list. Okay, continue. So you can choose the list you want. Now nobody sees all this. So say you want to choose whatever say choose one list whichever list you have I have plenty of list out there okay run once okay yeah, I do not want to segment it just now okay add a start okay so now what what are you going to do so first first thing I'll just click out of here so you can rename this let's call it test uh, one two three okay save so now when it's uh, when is and now you can see this. This is a very very easy to understand. Uh, when a contact uh, subscribes to your list, what you're going to do? So you click an add here, uh, send an email. So uh, you want to create an email. So you create an email. Say welcome. Okay. So now nobody can see this. You, uh, what you're typing here. You can, so you can put in uh, uh, anything that would help you remember why you created this list. Okay. Okay, so then uh, now it's going to ask you to. So you can use past campaigns. You can use uh, sell a sell a pro product, happy birthday coupon, and various layouts. So you can use your past campaign. So let's let's go go for some something simple. So just select this. Uh, okay, so you can say welcome. So this is the subject. Okay.
So you, you can design again, you can design this emails here, you can uh, 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 just click on this directly and uh, edit it. Okay, you can edit this directly, you can change this uh, image, you can add in an image directly uh, from your whatever, okay, or you can add in a logo out here. Okay, again, you can yeah, put a new image, etc. So I'm not going to get into this uh, more deeply, so you can save and exit. Once you uh, once you are done with uh, uh, editing the email, okay. Now I'll show you why I like this so much. So, so okay, save. Okay, so that's uh, that's it. Your first email is created. Now after this, you can put in a lot of different things. You can change your uh, this thing. You can do n number of things out here. You can uh, end this automation, start this automation. You can wait for a certain time. Uh, so you can say wait for say a day specific time, one day wait for one day now and then you can you want to send the next email okay so so send an email okay so you can send another email create a new one okay and then you can say uh, email day two or whatever nobody can see this so you can name it what you want okay so again you can edit this email Okay, so same the same way you can select this etc. Uh, what whatever name it whatever. Hi again or whatever. Again, once you're done editing this, you can save it. So this gives you a good flow chart. You can see where uh, you at. So if you want, also you can uh, you segregate this list. Uh, say say you want to uh, you can add tags. You can subscribe, unsubscribe. Uh, you can split this list. You can uh, you can put in an if or an or thing. So say if the customer has uh, opened your emails. Okay, so you can say uh, segment them. Okay, add. So if they've opened, you can do uh, you can send them on one path. If they have not opened, you can send them different uh, on a different path. You can send them different types of emails, etc. So you have a lot of control. So you can also go to so if say if they have not opened your emails, you can say send them again back to the first email or, uh, or whatever. You can send the first email again. Okay, so so you can do a lot. So if you see the difference between um, active campaign and uh, Mailchimp. This is the reason I've moved from uh, Mailchimp to Active Campaign, and I'm using uh, mo mostly only Active Campaign. You can do so much, and uh, and it's so easy to do. Okay, so once once you're ready for this, you can also then either end this automation or whatever. Okay, okay, uh, and yeah. So the, or you can keep on sending few emails. Then after that, you can either subscribe them to another list. Okay, so uh, with the con contacts, you can subscribe them to another list uh, after they've reached a certain point. So you can add a list, say whatever. Okay, so you subscribe them to another uh, another list, say. Okay, so so they'll subscribe to another list, and you can un unsubscribe them from this list. Okay, so this was ARC we uh, talked about. Okay, all, not all list. Unsubscribe from. Sorry. Unsubscribe. We do not want all list, so we find the list A R C. It's the one they have. Okay, so apply. Okay, so so you can do a lot. You can see you can just play around with this. There's so much you can do with uh, this, and it's so easy to use. Okay, so once once it is there, you will have to hit active, and then that uh, uh, automation will be active. So you can see the reason I've moved on from. Uh, um, uh, Mailchimp, which is a very uh, kind of uh, flat-based uh, thing, to uh, Active Campaign, which is so versatile. Okay. Now let's look at uh, another reason why you might choose now Mailchimp over Active Campaign is the pricing. Okay. So if you're starting out, it might be a good option to to get started with something like Mailchimp, which is essentially free for up to uh, two thousand contacts. Okay. So so if you're getting getting started you can start off with mailchimp where you are i'll probably probably leave some links down below so you can just click on them and get to these uh, uh, 
uh, Mailchimp and Active Campaign. Okay, and uh, over up to f uh, fifty thousand contacts. Uh, it is ten dollars, uh, so not not too expensive. So uh, for someone who is just starting out, uh, yeah, uh, y you might want to choose Mailchimp. Okay, um, now the whole thing is. Uh, in case you're starting out and you still to get subscribers, I, I will leave also a link in the uh, uh, below where uh, I have a challenge running in three days to get your first uh, 100 subscribers. So if you want to take up the challenge, the link will be below this video. Okay, so uh, let's look at the active campaign pricing. So active campaign for 500 contacts goes, uh, it starts off on the $9 per month uh, uh, thing. So it is, um, it is obviously, uh, Cost more than uh, Mailchimp, but uh, like I said, if you're if you're in in a business doing uh, well and you are you're earning, then uh, nine dollars per month is nothing. Okay, for but as you raise your contacts, this also is going to increase. So just be aware of that. Okay, so uh, so uh, so that that might be the reason you choose Mailchimp over. Over active campaign, but if uh, down the line you might want to consider moving on to active campaign. So if if you are uh, at that point of time where you are considering moving on to active campaign, um, uh, uh, the link to active campaign also will be below this uh, video. Also, uh, if you are looking at monetizing your list, etc., so I will have also a link in uh, in the description down below where I will show you how how. I'll give you some free training on that if you if you do desire to take that up. Okay, so uh, you can click on the link below for some free training on how to monetize, how to what I'm using to actually um, uh, uh, earn online, basically. Okay, so so that, that's basically it, guys. Any any questions you can leave in the comments. Uh, any questions about this, what I've just said, or any any other thing, anything you might want, any uh, videos you might uh, uh, want me to make, I can. Uh, I can consider making it. Also, you can leave a uh, uh, leave your country name in in the in the chat uh, in the com comments below, so that I can uh, maybe put up some country specific uh, uh, my videos, which uh, which might help you uh, in your specific country how to you know gain gain audiences, uh, um, uh, build your email list, uh, start earning online, etc., etc. Okay, so all the best, guys. Uh, uh, to your success. Uh, take care. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon, okay, and leave a comment if you need. Okay, take care. All the best.